But more importantly, we need to now translate this knowledge into an improvement in your quality of life. And that requires some decisions. And the easier you can make these decisions, the more effectively you can make these decisions, the quicker we can get you to a better life. So if, you're dis- if your reason for coming here in the first place is that you're not satisfied with how things are now, then we need to consider what things we could do to improve your life. The most common questions that patients have who have undergone an allergy test at the Modern Nose Clinic and have now learned how to interpret their allergy test results, they're the following. Do I have to live with these symptoms for the rest of my life? I sure hope not. That's why I came here in the first place. Can I improve my situation in some way? How? What is the least expensive treatment option? The safest option the most convenient option. Let's answer those questions. Let's start with cost. Let's break it down for you so you can make an educated decision. First, the numbers. Based on the Medical Expenditure Panel Survey, statistical brief number 204. Sounds official, doesn't it? Back in 19, oh, sorry, 2000, the average patient with allergies spent $350 per year on medications. In 2005, it was $520 a year. So let's just round it off and say, ah, it's been 15 years since then, but we'll say it's $500 a year. Yeah, it keeps the numbers simple. So that's per year. So every 10 years, $5,000 is what the average person would spend on over-the-counter and prescription medications. The next thing is, how many years do you have on this planet? This is kind of fun. So research indicates that if you were born in 2000, and this is cool, I'm kind of glad to uh, see it. It's uh, people born in 2000, uh, they estimate that you can live to be 100 years old. And you know, at the Modern Nose Clinic, we always want the best. We're always trying to aspire to be the best. So since you're a patient here, let's just assume that you're gonna live to be 100 years old. Again, keeps the math simple. You can change this if you want, but we'll go for 100. So how about me? How much does it cost for me to do medications to treat my allergies? Let's say I'm 50. I'm 51, but we'll we'll round down. Okay, so 100 minus 50 is 50, divided by 10, which is a decade. I've got five decades left on this planet. Whoa, not bad. Oh, I guess it's time for a midlife crisis, right? Ah! I feel a lot better. How about you? All right, back to reality. So that would be, what is that now? 5,000 times five decades, $25,000. So Big Pharma has been lying to the American people. They want you to think it's just no big deal. It's much more cost effective than seeing a doctor, which may or may not be true. In any given situation, it probably depends. However, it ain't cheap. And it's death by a tiny thousand little pokes. So there you go. $25,000 for Dr. Scarada to do over-the-counter medications and prescriptions for his allergies. Ain't cheap. Okay, so what's the cost for going for a cure? Because could that be less expensive? I hope so. We've got two treatments for going for a cure. We've got one that we call Smart Care for Allergy. And that's by far the more popular of the two with our patients here. We also have the traditional shot clinic. And the shot clinic, well... Um, You know all about that. You come in here once a week and you get a shot. Then after a year or two, you come in here once every other week and you get a shot. Then after about a year or two, you come in here once a month, you get a shot. And over that period of time, we're giving you increasingly stronger concentrations of of the medicine, getting you higher and higher up to full concentrate. So you're being exposed in this manner to those things to which you're allergic. And so you know all about that. Smart care for allergy, what the heck is that? Oh, when you put a dropper under your tongue to expose your immune system in that manner, it is so much safer than when you do a shot in your arm that you can do this from home. You can do this from home every day because it's a bit much to ask you to come into clinic to get a shot in the arm once a week. It's a bit much and we're grateful for all of our patients who decide to do that. Love to have you come by here. However, since it's so convenient to do this under your tongue, why not do it every day from home? It's so much safer doing it under your tongue that we can start with full concentrate, meaning the, the full potent uh, uh, things to which you're allergic 
under your tongue. Whereas here we have to start with a diluted down amount. And as we're going through your shot therapy journey, at times if you get too big of a reaction, we may have to dilute it down, which means it takes us longer to get to that full concentrate. So we start off with the full concentrate. We're doing it every day. We believe that our patients with a dropper under the tongue may get better faster than the patients with a shot in the arm. Some of the questions you had, well, they were simple. Basically, what is the safest treatment for allergy? Smart care for allergy is safer than shot clinic. Um, taking over the counter medications is also safe. What is the most convenient? That's the def definition of convenience is different from person to person. But um, doing an eyedropper under your tongue from home, smart care for allergy, is considered by our patients to be the most convenient of these options. You don't have to go to the pharmacy and buy medications or remember to take medications every day for the rest of your life and you don't have to come in for a shot clinic. What is the least expensive? Well, how long are you gonna live? How many years are you gonna take over-the-counter medications? Um, are you, um, how good is your insurance with Shot Clinic? How important is your time? Basically, we're estimating that the, sh the Smart Care for Allergy, we're hoping people will see dramatic improvement in two to three years. The Shot Clinic, we're thinking three to five years. And of course, the over-the-counter and medication therapy is the rest of your life. So with that, I'll be with you in a few moments. I'll just walk in the room here soon. We hope this helps you to kind of think about what you might want to do. Then we can really drill down and come up with the best treatment plan in that particular option possible. Dr. Douglas Carrada, the Modern Nose Clinic. Oh yeah, we know your nose.